The crews who install underground wiring for Walton EMC are like well-trained sports teams. Each crew member knows exactly what his job is, as well as each move of the other members on his team. The installation you are about to see took less than one hour. Crews install an average of six to eight underground services in one day. Journeyman line technician Larry Johnson kills the power to the work site by using an insulated stick to remove the fuse from the underground transport. Even though he'll be nearby, Johnson bolts and locks the transformer to prevent any unauthorized entry. Line technician trainee John Anderson begins by using a small backhoe to open work areas at the street and meter ends of the service room. A backhoe is more precise and allows crews to be more careful around existing facilities. The backhoe is controlled by a joystick, similar to playing a video game. Equipment operator Arthur Thomas uses a printer to complete the ditch. A moving chain provides a narrow, deep trench and piles the removed soil neatly nearby. The crew is ready to make the wire connections. Line technician Johnson double checks to make sure the lines from the transformer are dead. He uses a special tool to remove the heavy insulation from the wire. The wire is joined using a special aluminum connector. The connector is filled with a compound to inhibit oxidation and is crimped onto the wire with several hundred pounds of force. The connection gets three layers of insulation. The first is a wide electrical tape. The second is a special rubber compound that sticks to itself and seals to make the connection watertight. The final layer is regular electrical tape. The wire is placed in the ditch. Sometimes our crews are under contract to bury the phone cable at the site. Thomas is ready to connect the house end of the circuit. He pushes the wire through the conduit installed by the electrician. There are three wires for secondary service from the transformer to the meter. Two hot conductors and a neutral, providing both 120 and 240 volts inside. The wire is cut to length and stripped. An antioxidant is applied to inhibit corrosion. The wire is put into a connection called a lug and the lug is tightened. The ditch is filled and packed. For EMC-TV, this is Greg Brooks.